And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Vi. So this is going to be a viewer submitted donation deck. Viewer from YouTube submitted this Riven Vi list. And I actually have two Riven Vi decks on my donation deck um, lists to get to before the new expansion comes out. So we'll play this one today and we'll have another one either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, we'll play another uh, different Riven Vi list. Um, but so this one's going to be one with a surprising card in here, Hexcore Foundry. Wasn't expecting this whenever we have like, so this is going to be like for some extra card draw to keep us going. But I think that maybe a card like Whisper Words or even Rummage uh, could be a little bit more useful where only we are drawing cards and our opponent is not drawing cards. But it's going to be interesting to try out. You know, I'm going to try the list as is and uh, we'll see how that goes for us. But for the most part, we're gonna we have 25 units in here. We're gonna be trying to curve out. We got you know, Blade Square on one, House Spider and Rune Weaver on two. Sentry with no flock on three, but Sentry just to do some um, stunning to be able to help our attacks a little bit better. Then of course, obviously Riven also on three. Four, we got Chumpwump. And the Mushroom Clouds from Chumpwump can uh, be easier to give to our opponent with the Hexcore Foundry also. And then Brutal Hunter, Challenger Quick Attack. Could be a cool four drop. A couple of Kados, then obviously our Vi's. And then top end, we got some cards that finish the game. We got Captain Farron, which is just an incredible card that's just, you know, this game this card just ends games. Um for you know for the good. And then a give it all. And so with give it all, we'll we'll have cards like Vi that has tough and challenger. Um you know, but then we'll also have the blades. And so, like, we can go, like, the blades with, like, the Overwhelm Blade, the Quick Attack Blade. We can go with those blades first before Overwhelm. Or, sorry, before Give It All and give all of our things, like, Overwhelm or Quick Attack or something like that. Maximus, thanks for just uh, jumping in and subbing on your way out the door. I appreciate that support. You are amazing. And you are our first sub of the day. Get us on the board. One sub today. I'll end this. That's not a very good Captain Farron impression. Uh, let's see. We got a Weapon Hilt, some Mystic Shots, Aftershock, Sharpen Resolves, a few spells in here. Might is another spell that we could pair with Give It All for Overwhelm. That's what we got. All right, let's give it a try. So we're going to go play our five games in Ranked. It's a tough test. We're over at the top of Master's Rank. Uh, for this Riven Vi deck, this will be a tough test. Let's see how it does. I'll end this. I don't have like a mean voice, an angry voice. I don't do I don't do angry very well. Or yelling. I'll end this. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. I don't got it. All right, playing some aggro, playing against some Elise to start with. Yeah, I'm looking down, like I'm looking deep in my bag, my bag of voices. I'm looking deep in this bag and trying to find the Captain Farron voice and it's just, it's not there. And then I realized that that bag is just a big bag of nothing. <laughs> I got, I got nothing as far as voices go. A big bag of nothing. Well, I think we just keep one, two, three, and the the three drops help us stun and everything. I have my orders. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rock. So in Spanish, in Latin Spanish at least, Captain game. Farron, when he says, I'll end this, says a co uh, let's see if I can let's see if I can figure out how to pronounce this. Um, a cabaret con esto. A cabaret con esto. How is a good champ to put with Kindred? That's probably me too. So who's a good champ to put with Kindred? Definitely Zoe. I think the Kindred and Zoe work really well together. We actually played a Kindred Zoe deck the other day. That would be my recommendation for a Kindred deck right now. Um, I know I have it listed as meme tier, at least on YouTube. But it's it's good. Yes. So if you want to, if you want to make, if you have a champion 
and you want to make it the best, like, especially, like, if you have a champion that's not played very much, and you want to make it the best as possible, put it with Zoe and put it with, with Celestials with Targon, especially if it's a slower control champion, definitely do that, and there you go, that, that's the best version of that, that deck. Heimerdinger, put it with Zoe. Lux, put it with Zoe. Kindred, put it with Zoe. And I'm not even saying that, like, jokingly, like, like, definitely, like, actually just do that, because that's the best version. <laughs> To serve the greater good. Uh, Your fate was written. I guess. Silly thing. I guess this saves me a life. And the 2-1 doesn't block the 1-1 one, one very well. Oh, also Iceman, at the end of that video with um, Kindred, Zoe, I talked about a couple of changes. Like, there's a couple of cards we need to change in that in that deck list. Don't don't copy paste that exact deck list. Go to the end of the video and watch, and uh, see. Like, I I don't remember exactly what the two like. There was like two or three cards that we changed that are supposed to change with that deck. So depending on what they played, it would have done different things, but since they played the Skitter and made these two cards, the House Spider and the Spiderling, like non-attackers, basically, I I would rather, like, if I'm going to have my 3-2 attack and trade with one of these, I'd rather trade with their Frenzied Skitter than the Precious Pet, so we're going to stun the Precious Pet and try to trade here. Do you think Kindred Go Hard with Hextech for Draw would work? I don't know about the, the Hex tech for draw, honestly. I don't know about that. I think that Kindred with Go Hard with Shadow Isles. Wait. Kindred and Chat Kindred is already Shadow Isles, sorry. With Bilgewater and um and you know like regular Twisted Fate stuff, I think that can work, right? Like the Elise Twisted Fate Go Hard deck. But you play Kindred instead of Elise. I think you can definitely do that. I think that's completely reasonable and um, something to do. So I'm saving spell mana. I could, you know, use the plus two plus zero right now and get another two damage in, but man, it, it should get another two damage in later. We'll save the spell mana for now. It's not like them being at 14 or them being at 12 is going to make or, make or break this game right now. And I, I did uh, that, that Twisted Fate Kindred kind of deck go hard um, a while ago. So here you go, Monkey Storm. You can check that out, and that can give you some ideas for that. More Frenzied Skitterers. Let's... We're definitely going to Sentry. Do I want to Aftershock? <laughs> really? I've been waiting on you for a while? Just relax, man. Uh, anyway... Uh, do I want to Blade Fragment and block? I kind of do. Alright, we're going to Blade Fragment. So we have two blockers for the Frenzy Skitters. Ooh. 
Yeah, Kindred Go Hard Karma is an option, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that Karma really adds enough, TBH. Like, I just don't think Ionia as a region adds, adds enough. So we're down to 13. They don't have very many cards left. But I don't either, honestly. Kind of glad I, I blocked with three different things, considering their plan was Brothers Bond. <clears throat> Pretty glad about that. So I'm playing Kato for mana purposes, but honestly, I think I, I should have just played Riven, shouldn't I? The past is a burden. We must learn to Riven would allow me to reforge, but of course we're going to be able to reforge from the weapon hilt anyway. I'm giving the sword to the Kato. Which is why I did all the other buffs on the other thing. Because now, because the Kato's going to give the plus three to the Riven, and so that's going to be doubled, so it's going to be plus six with that. So it's 19 Overwhelm, so they can block with a 2, and then a 1, and that would keep them alive at 1. There we go. Alright, 1 and 0. Okay, yeah, so Allegiance is something that you have to... It's It doesn't happen 100%. Allegiance means you have a you have your um, deck of cards, and you look at the top card of the deck. Basically, it checks the top card of your deck. If it has the same region as the card with the allegiance, then that ability happens. And so, whenever you play like that mono Sharima deck that has every single card of Sharima, you play the the Sharima allegiance, then you have, then you one hundred percent have a Sharima card on top. So that ability definitely happens. But if you play a deck that's like half and half and try playing your allegiance card, then you'd only have like a 50% chance for that ability to happen. And so it's kind of it's kind of a, you know, it's it's a risk, you know, you don't you don't know if it's going to happen or not. So usually if you play an allegiance card, usually you only play like five or six cards of a different region because you want to try to hit that allegiance ability a lot. Yeah, the 50-50 deck would technically be less than 50% because you'd be playing one card in one region, so you'd technically have less than 50. All right, Ezreal Sejuani. All right, we're going to try to attack and attack quickly. So they're not playing Teemo in this kind of deck, which is probably pretty smart because Sejuani is pretty great. Uh, Weapon Hilt's certainly gone. It's the rest of the cards. So they're going to be using their... Uh, 
I kind of like the rest of the cards. They're going to be using like their removal spells and everything. Whoa, I haven't seen this card back. They have a, they have a Riot card back. That looks pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. They're going to use like Frostbite spells and Mystic Shots and things like that. Cordex says they give you they give this card back when you play against them and they like you. Cool. Yeah, that's a cool card back. Never seen that. I assume the day is riot. Witness the fiction. Uh, let's just attack here. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about prediction. My bad, my bad. Alright, will we win last game? Yes. This game... Will we win... There we go. Alright, system upgrade. These hands no metal hands magic. Can you improve perfection? See the world from behind a battle. Just too easy to frostbite brutal hunter. I'm gonna go with the double spell with the blade squire and the sentry. If they play avalanche, they win the game. That's just how it is. I'll save the plus two plus zero. That shows why Noxus needs a two mana card like this Sharpened Resolve and Weapon Hill. Like, they need a two mana card that. I mean, they have Transfusion, I guess, that uh, helps protect units. Like a two mana buff. Basically, every other region has a two mana buff. They need one. Um. What's up, Mervin? Alright, figured they'd go there. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? The heart and mind to aim its strike. Safety disengage. You and I have raised cities. Nothing can break our bond. All things can be broken, Tenef. Alright, so we're going to give plus two, plus zero over here. Back with everything. Challenge you. Man, I kind of need to challenge all three things. Zero three. All right. I'm a little worried about Ezreal leveling up. Like Ezreal's at three out of six. I challenge Ezreal. They they play. 
I guess it'd be difficult for them to play three target to level up Ezreal. Yeah, so if I let it happen, they still have the Ezreal. The Ezreal is going to kill the Riven. I guess that's just how it is. Ah, they just have too much removal over there. I can double. Ugh. It's like the quick attack shouldn't really matter, right? So I can double quick attack. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. Just level up Riven with that. Oh no no no! I need to do the overwhelm to level up Riven. All right, whatever. All right, so I just wasted a quick attack, but whatever. Got it out of my hand. There is surrender and there is life. I will live. I have to let it happen. If I if I try the plus three plus two, which would give Riven seven power, because it would double it up to try to kill Sejuani, all they had to do is like Mystic shot my Nexus, and then it would Frostbite everything, and then you know like that would just not work. So I kind of have to do that. I think they got me though with these two champions. We're gonna have to get quite fortunate. see the scenario of us winning this game. Yeah, it's just it's just complete lockdown. I think that's smart not playing Teemo, honestly, and just playing as real Sejuani. I think that's a that's a good deck. They had good choice there. Opponent was a good player. <laughs> All right, taking care of it. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, Vap, have a good one. Hopefully, we helped you out there. Yeah, it's that card back one on the game. But yeah, no, that is... Yeah, Ballistic Bot, level up Sejuani, and then it's just too difficult to deal with. I 
most people with that deck play just like three Teemos and like one Sejuani and you know playing all three Sejuanis. I think that's pretty smart. Whoa, they're going big. Trindamir really in soul. This has got to be Targon's peak. And so therefore, like, a whole bunch of avalanches. Um, let's get rid of you. And I guess... I mean, Kato, you're good, though. All right. We need to find some other things to curve out with, but... Hopefully we do that. That's what our draw steps are for. Because Kato doesn't die to avalanche and also can attack for eight. You know, like, it's very good. Cat Teferon is going to be great against Targon's Peak. Finally, some action. Great card to cost zero. <laughs> right? It's our best card in our deck. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Do we want a weapon help? I'll show the hunters. Could see me weapon hilting there. So now they play the peak. Wow, what a draw. We've drawn pretty well drawing the Riven and the Chump Wump. Very good draws, and I'm glad I didn't uh, cast the weapon hilt so I get to get rid of both of these. We don't want to have them Targon speak up Mushroom Cloud. All right, come on, hit Farron. Hit Farron. Hit Farron. That would be fair. All right, so double Kato before attacking, or just attack first. Right now we're looking at nine damage. The, the thing I'm definitely worried about is the deal 15 damage to everything card. It is me. Oh, I guess Field of Rush is a card also. Yeah, I guess that's a card too. Okay, so they go block, block. Take seven right now. I play another f that. No attack, we attack for block, block. Take five, ten, fourteen. Yeah. Who gets tossed? So I'm hoping this is 14 damage and putting it down to two, and then aftershock kills them. That's my hope. Not so much. So close. Do not stand in my way. I don't know if I should destroy that Targon speak or not. So I could just basically empty my hand and make it like a 50-50 shot of hitting the Captain Farron.
It's not that unlikely they have more star shapings and things like that. I think destroying the Targon's Peak is what we gotta do. It's probably what I should've done last turn. What happened? No harsh winds. This is the card they just drew. And some other card. Ice Shard? Ice Shard. Okay. So I need to... So, like, this thing... Like, the two Ice Shards are going to turn this Trindamir into being, like, that huge 11... You know, 11, 15 blocker, so... Going with the Sharpened Resolve on the Kato doesn't help, so we need to go Sharpened Resolve on this thing. So the, the two health over there, so we can overwhelm through the Aurelian Soul. Yeah, so far there's been question was, have they shown good landmarks with the new expansion with Malphite? So, so far there was the, there's been a Targon landmark that's looked good that's like two mana and then maybe three mana and then count down two and then obliterate the um obliterate the smallest unit or like the smallest enemy that's a good card Mystic shot to the heart, and you're too late. Your nexus is gone, and we win. All right, we're two and one. Do y'all think that they're going to be making nerfs to the current metagame, like when the new expansion comes out? Braum? This looks like an anti-aggro deck. Zombie Braum? Keeping both ribbons just just in case. Zombie Brom, Zombie Brom. Oh, 
That doggo behind me that you can see is snoring. Kind of loud. I can just listen to that, that doggo back there snoring. Thank you, House Spider. You came right on time. You and I have raised cities. Nothing can break our bond. All things can be broken, Tenef. Brutal Hunter. Violence to end violence. You are my prey. Callus is always good. That's such a quick pass. It is me! Certainly feels like a trap. Be surprised at ruination this turn. So all all three of my attackers are dealing five damage. It could be like harsh winds or something too, or vengeance. Oh, I can't stop grasp. Guess we're gonna just let it be ten damage. Sister. All right, gonna look for more burn spells. What's up, Captain Farron? There's another burn spell. Man. So rude. So I have I have eleven points of damage. Here anyway. Could have just done all Nexus damage. I feel bad for my opponent though, because you know they're just trying to play Howling Abyss, cool card. They're doing it wrong, though. They should be playing my Trundle Brawn. That is the best Howling Abyss deck. Besides the Katarina Nivea deck we played the other day. That was also another great Howling Abyss deck. Yeah, we became the fun police. Pretty harsh. Good question. Nitin Good says, why use a Mystic Shot there when you could bank the mana and use it this turn? No real reason. Could do that as well. No real reason. It's not like we weren't, you know, I want to I want to keep my uh, hand count low for Hexcore Foundry, but of course we could just do that this turn. Oh, 
All right, they're back to four. With that, grass the undying. That egg, did it move? We three will have blood. They have used two Grasp the Undyings. Should probably be playing Captain Farron. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at 7 mana atrocity. It, it won't be slow speed. Like, that's not... Atrocity's not a slow speed... Yeah, it's, it's not a slow speed spell. But I could see it being 7 mana. They are letting me open attack. But we'll just have Captain Farron try to end this with some decimates. Ruination. Ooh, that's better for me. I'll just start here. Let's see what they do. Found the other Howling Abyss player. Choo choo! Double digits! In the 10th month resub. Thank you, choo choo. Is that her? Okay, yeah, second sub of the day. Okay, yeah, never mind. I thought that it said four at first. I was like, I don't remember four subs today. Okay, yeah. Thresh Nasus. No, we got a good, we got a big time test here. We got the number one deck in the metagame for our Riven Vi deck for the last game. We'll go double Rune Weaver, single Rune Weaver. We'll go single. Um, Blighty Caretaker makes cards like Rune Weaver, Blade Squire a little bit more difficult uh, to run. I hope that was mud. The desert by my side. Turn two and turn three off. Oh, fresh soil. So that's not bad. Our sentry basically just traded straight up for the caretaker, right? Because the caretaker just replaced the other thing. So that's not bad. I'm cold. I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. I'm sorry. Who are you? Left. Now that is bad. Get 
them a chance! Um, yeah, so the question is, is Yasuo Malphite, is Yasuo Malphite going to be a deck, or is the landmark thingy too clunk, clunky? I think both aspects are probably too clunky, but, uh, like, it's going to be pretty tough to actually combine Yasuo with, with Malphite, but that is going to be a pretty cool meme tier deck, but I don't expect that to be a real deck. To serve the greater good. There you are! Yeah, Atrocity will not be a slow spell. Well. Not ideal. I'll craft a weapon as savage as your spirit. The cycle begins in ten ten? If I had two more mana, I'd kill a mana ten ten. Heads will roll. No escape. My words bring power to me. My saplings. I'm done. GG's. <laughs> Triple caretaker. Yuck. That's very good against us. Like our deck is just filled with all the two ones and three ones, and that's that's basically all I had were two ones and three ones, and so the caretakers were just too good. And then obviously Nasus. No, I mean obviously Nasus was the card that won that game. Can't stop a Nasus. Darn. Okay, so that was Riven Vi. It was all right. It was all right. You know, like Riven did its thing. Um, I'm surprised we're playing three Vi because we didn't draw a single Vi in any game. Yeah, we we just played five games and we have three champ, three of a champion, and we didn't draw a single champion. Like we didn't draw a single one of those ever. Yeah, <laughs> not a single game did we have a Vi. That's kind of crazy. Um, imagine playing like Thresh Nasus and you just don't have a Nasus in for five games in a row. Uh, that that kind of deck has a little bit more card draw than we have, but we have the Hexcore Foundry that was drawing us some cards. Um, yeah, so that was kind of weird that we had a champion that in five games, including Mulligans and everything, we didn't see a single copy of at all. And we still went three and two in master's rank without having one of our champions ever and we had we had brutal hunters all the time we only have two brutal hunters in the deck and we had plenty of those so that's kind of that's kind of weird didn't see a single vine but um yeah i don't i don't love the hexcore foundry in here i would have mind i think i'd probably rather have whisper words like we were talking about but it's all right um it's it's really good like the hexcore foundry was really good against like the super slow control deck like we ended up playing against the brahm um howling abyss control deck and so that's perfect for the foundry and so that actually kind of worked out really well with our aftershocks too so we, we had some things really line up well for us with this game with these games but i think that like playing against like some more of the tier one decks i, I would kind of worry about this one you know like that thresh nasus matchup i'd kind of worry about that you got to be like we got to be like aggressive and try to finish it out with mites and things like that but um, yeah, no, no vies for us, but I could see, I could see like that kind of matchup though, of having like Vi challenge something, you know, being like 10 power Vi challenge something small, then play a might. I could see that working out, but anyway, that's going to be Riven Vi. Not bad. We'll take, we'll take a winning record in master's rank yet again. 
those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Riven Vi, and I will see you for the next video.